me down Who cursed all over the town Who hides their eyes Who's ashamed and proud It's alright I know you now Would you come and fight Show you how it's a mean old world And it lets you know that the better road It connects to the barrio Lord, help me now Who's more savior than I know you're gonna dig this. Get, get, get funky with me. All right, so a woman named Nini, Kathy Bates, goes to a nursing home. Looks after, meets Ninny, Ninny, and she recounts her youth and a free spirited young lady named Iggy, who had a friendship with Ruth, and Iggy ran the Whistle Stop Cafe. I had to get that out of the way right away because I don't remember a thing about fried green tomatoes. I get asked for this movie all the time here on my channel. Live chats or in the comments, can you do fried green tomatoes? Can you do fried green tomatoes? I'm doing Fried Green Tomatoes, but I haven't watched the movie. I think I saw it a long time ago. I think every, everybody's seen Fried Green Tomatoes. I'm sure I saw it. I don't remember a thing about Fried Green Tomatoes, but I'm in the town where it was shot. And Amos and Galen, who are working in the back of the Whistle Stop Cafe, gladly filled me in on the movie. They've told me enough about it that I kind of, well, that was off the top of my head what I remember. And anyway, this is Fried Green Tomatoes. This is Juliet, Georgia. This is where it was filmed. It's really cool being here. I wish I remembered the movie. But look here. The Whistle Stop Cafe. This is it. This is the main location from Fried Green Tomatoes. I hope everyone who's ever asked me is very happy. And I'm more than happy to do it because I was passing through this town on the way somewhere else. Here, let's take a look inside the Whistle Stop Cafe where they make fried green Tomatoes. Can you see? That's what it looks like inside. Now, does it look the same? I don't know. Now, oh, it says Virgin up there. What's going on in there? Now, now, I want to see the movie. I'm going to watch it after this. But usually I like to have seen the movie recently or at least once in my life before I do locations. So this is kind of a first doing uh, movie locations for a film that I don't remember a thing about. But here I am sitting in a bench at the Wizard Stop Cafe. Bench, a Muskoka chair. Do they call them Muskoka chairs if it were in Georgia? I'm in a giant chair in Juliet, Georgia at the Wizard Stop Cafe where they film fried green tomatoes. Repeat it again, Scott. So for all you fried green tomato fans, tomatoes, Tell me if this looks familiar to you. Was this air conditioner in the film? Was this chain? Different plant, I'm assuming, but maybe this is a plant that lives forever. The Ten Commandments sign, was that in the film? Cafe, cafe. And a bench all around. Oh! And apparently, there's a barbecue pit in the back. Thank you, Amos, for telling me that. And th I remember this part of the movie, the uh, guy, Killed someone, chopped him up, or served him to the people? What? Here's the barbecue pit. What the hell happened back here in the movie? So this is it. This is the famous barbecue pit. Yee. Oh, well, what's this? Here lies Frank Bennett of Valdesta. The secret was in the sauce and here. I think that's from the movie. 
I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, I kind of like doing film, kind of like doing filming locations when I haven't seen the film in either a long time or never seen it, I can't remember. And I like chick flicks. Pretty Woman, Notting Hill, I'm just naming Julie Roberts movies. Uh, um, well, The Intern, that's Anne Hathaway. I don't know, Ghost, you know, I'm a chick flick guy. Is it offensive to call them chick flicks in this day and age? I don't know. But Fried Green Tomatoes would be kind of a, you know, beaches, that sort of thing. Fried Green Tomatoes was a huge, huge hit. And, and you know, it's, 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 it's a bit of a chick flick. But I love chick flicks. I don't think it's offensive to say chick flick. Was that in the movie? I don't know. And apparently something happened with the train trash because Amos was telling me, Amos is just right over there right now working, that somebody gets their leg chopped off or gets hit by a train or something happens with a train. And people, when they come here, because this place is booming, booming business all the time. It, it is busy all the time. It's closed now, of course. Because when would I ever get someplace on time? But that people, when the train goes by, the people that are lined up to get in freak out because they're so excited about a train going by because something happens with a train in the movie. Now that's an abandoned grit factory. Yeah, they made grits. And then it became a motorcycle museum. And now it's empty, but there's a sheep over there. If you can see, let me zoom in on the sheep. There you go. Here's your 15 minutes, sheep. Live it up. Yeah, we got grits, kiss my grits, and the Woods Stop Cafe. Now let me show you around this little town. It is literally one like street. What the hell is the name of the town in the movie? Where is it? I don't know where I'm gonna put the thing. Somewhere here on the screen, the name of the town, the movie. Here we go, but look at this. This is really cool. It's... But what was the name of the town in the movie? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm gonna put it right here, or here, or here, or here, somewhere. But it's pretty funky. Let me show you around. <sighs> this person needs to get it together and maybe clean up a little bit. I'm just saying, you left a lot of stuff out that anybody can just come and take. That's so weird. I would never steal, but it's just weird. I'm wondering if they don't come out here and take anything. Anybody who's watching this? Oh, kudzu, kudzu corner. Kudzu is a type of vine that's in the south, and it's known as the vine that ate the south. There you go. Information. All right. I like pinwheels. Always have. I like pinwheels and water towers. Okay. Here we go. So there's lots of gift shops. Purple Haze. So I don't know which storefront was in the uh, film, Biker's Room. But I'm gonna take you all the way up and down the street. There's a whistle stop to my right. There's Amos and Galen over there. Galen, give me what up. <laughs> and here's, I don't know if this is in the film or not. Whistle Stop Trading Post, Old Liberty Bank. It's kind of like a ghost town that's the courthouse. I don't know what's happening here. Is this, oh, if this is real or not. Did I take, did I eat mushrooms? Or eat a brick of hash? I don't know what's happening. I don't do stuff like that. But I'm just saying, it feels like it because I feel like I'm on a movie set or in a ghost town, but all these are real businesses. But they're all closed. Nothing's happening here. Opry House, who's performing tonight? Billy Joel? Oh my God, look up in the window. What is going on there? And there. Yeah, this is really cool, walking down the street. Moon pies, this, I love moon pies. Like this, whoever, like a lot of people suggested I come out here or do this, so I don't even know if they knew where it was. I didn't know where it was until I realized it was on my route when I was planning my route today. But thank you for suggesting I do this because I'm happy that I am doing it. Look at this little place. Behind me. What is going on here? I swear, it's like, it's like an abandoned ghost town movie set, but everything's actually open, but closed right now because of the time of day. It's like seven o'clock. I don't know. This is it. That's the little highway there, and it's come down this road, and it's this little tiny old movie set because it was used in a movie, but it's an actual little town, but it's all built around the Whistle Stop Cafe. Okay, I gotta chill out for a second. I gotta calm down. Let's go. Let's take another look right down this street. A little bit of traffic coming my way. So there's Kennington's, where you can get vinyl. Oh, wow. Oh, vinyl, books, things. Yeah, this is the place I'll go to first, because I like music and books. 
Not a big fan of antiques or pecans or things, but I do like handcrafted cookies and grown. So here we go. Yeah, and right down here, again, this is fried green tomatoes. This is the Whistle Stop Cafe. Now, again, I don't know which building here. Uh oh, traffic. Um, I don't know which parts were used in the film. If they used this whole little area, this whole stretch of town. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But this Whistle Stop Cafe, you're going to come here and you're going to want to go here because it's a gift shop. But apparently, it has nothing to do with that Whistle Stop Cafe, which is the real Whistle Stop Cafe. This is called the Whistle Stop Cafe gift shop, but they're owned by different people. I don't know how that works. And here we go. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Thanks. And here it is. Back at the end of the road, right across the street from Purple Haze. I wonder if it's any relation to Isaac Hayes. Look at those tires. And then you do a quick flip around. And there's the Whistle Stop Cafe. From Fried Green Beaches. You are the wind beneath my tomato. Wasn't that the theme song? I don't know, they're all kind of blending together. There was another movie that came out around Fried Green Tomatoes time that was kind of like, same sort of thing. There's beaches, fried green tomatoes. There's another big, like, chick flicky type of thing. It was about a group of women. The sun. It's really. What was it? Like fried green tomatoes, but. Steel magnolias. Steel magnolias. Oh, and yeah, no, yeah, steel magnolias. That's Julia Roberts. Which is like, she was a pretty woman, not a hill. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy, asking him to love her. I love that movie. So here I am now inside the cafe. I've been lucky enough to get a little bit of time just to film inside. So if you're familiar with the film, this is what it looks like today inside the Whistle Stop Cafe. There's a uh, signed movie poster. I was about to say a fried movie poster, but it's a signed movie poster. And it looks like it's signed by, well, I can't really see who that says it's signed by. Maybe Kathy Bates? Not exactly sure. Oh, or John Abnett, the director. There you go. Little shooting. I don't know if that's in the film. And here we go. Walk all the way around. So this is what it looks like today inside. And here's where you pick up your fried green tomatoes right here. You have two choices for dinner. Take it or leave it. And here's behind the counter. This is what it looks like today here. Right over here. Now again, as I've stated 3,000 times in this video, I don't remember seeing the film, so I'm not exactly sure where they sat, what they did, but I know that this cash register is pretty darn old. It was probably the same one from the film. This one, not so much. And if you're looking for a highlight, highlighter, highlighter, <laughs> Whoops. And if you're looking for a highlighter, go buy one at Walmart. Don't take one from here. And there you go. There's the book, Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. We're on display here. There are lots of birdhouses at the Whistle Stop Cafe. People come here from all over the world all the time. This is just yesterday. Like, I mean, they must get, wow. August 24th, 2019. So look at how many people stop here from all over. Texas, Florida, Ohio, Australia. That's crazy. So this is the inside.
Looks like some pictures from the film here. Looks like extras from the movie right here. Oh, here's a whole bunch of pictures from the movie. Yeah. From when they filmed it here. Here we go. There's Kathy Bates and Jessica Tandy right there. Looking for Mary Stewart Masterson. Where is she? Well, there's Kathy Bates at least, the greatest actress pretty much ever. Here's some red tomatoes. They're not green, but I have a feeling those are gonna be fried. Well, that was unexpected. I did not expect to be able to go inside, and I did. That was awesome. Thank you so much to the person who let me in. That was really cool. All right, so if you wanna to come to Juliet, Georgia, it's halfway between Covington and Macon, I'd say roughly. Macon? Yeah, so halfway between. Bring bug spray, it gets hot out here. I hope my drone footage worked. So you can see the damn that's in the movie. If it didn't, well, damn it. <laughs> Fry gate tomatoes was filmed here. I need to eat something. And no, it's not gonna be fried green tomatoes because this place is not over right now. But thank you so much for watching and thank you to everyone who suggested I do this. I keep repeating the same stuff in this video because I didn't expect to do this. <sighs> All right. Whistle Stop Cafe. Fried green tomatoes. Peace. Ow. So just to end this video, now this is Georgia, but it, this is a fresh body of water. Alligators do exist, so, and you gotta be careful. Anyway, where's the, where's the dam? I believe the dam, right there. Is that the dam there? Oh, damn. <laughs> See, the water just kinda ends. It's probably hard for you to tell. But I think the dam is right here. Oh, for God's sake. All right. Let's run. Let's do this. I want to show you the dam from the movie. I mean, apparently in the film, they walked along the dam. Something happened on the dam. There's something occurred near the dam, on the dam. I don't know. Catfish. Meow. Splash. I don't know what the dam. I can hear a dam. Oh, I don't give a damn. What is that out there? This is not what I signed up for. Where, what's happening? What's this say now? Gar! Now I, I uh, so I think the dam's right there. I don't know, man. Fry green tomatoes. This is one of those videos where I just really, did, as I've said, I did not expect to make I'm breaming though, because I'm excited that I'm doing it, but I don't know where the dam is. More bream over there. So I guess the fish, the science for each fish, I guess they know that this is the bream there, the gar over there, and the catfish here, and they don't mix. They know to stick to their own side of the lake. Stick to the greasers and the uh, socials and the outsiders. Hi guys. Oh. Yeah, I shouldn't have ran that much. All right, I'm fine. Alligator, let's go. Oh, catfish. Uh, this is it. I'm done. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed this film. Film? Yeah. You know what? Film. No longer these videos. These are films. Just got on tape films. I really do appreciate all you watching. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Day. Peace. Out. Where's the damn?